as Inktober all year long, your indispensable guide to pen and ink drawing. So here it is. You can see the scale texture, the bumpy texture. You see the fur texture. The scale texture, the bumpy texture, and the fur texture. All right. You can even see the forms here. I'm seeing the same thing. Okay. Strokes. Effective pen control. Control. Basic types of strokes. He calls it basic strokes. Ways to vary a stroke. The variations of a stroke. He has variation. Ways to use a stroke. How you apply strokes. Application of lines. I notice he doesn't use the word strokes. I guess that would be a dead giveaway. So he uses lines instead. So obviously, he used the very five thing. Here I have texture. Here he has texture. Here I have local value. He copied that local value. Here I have shading. What does he have? Light and shadow. Here I have outline. What does he have? Contour. What's the difference? The same thing. Here I have cross contour. What does he use? Form. But it's the same thing. Because if you notice, look at my uh, illustration here where I have con cross contour. You can see the lines moving around the form. So what does he have in his description? Solar lines can be used to indicate a shape's form by wrapping the line around the form. Value, texture, and I'm right here is form. I'm sure even though I don't see that word, I know that's what he's written. Why? Because that's exactly what I have in my book. That flip through was 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. And in those 30 seconds, I already saw multiple glaring examples from my book in those 30 seconds. Materials. And you can see how I laid out, you know, just like I mentioned before, you can see there's the quill pen and you can see the dip pen. The quill pen, the red pen, the dip pen. I guess he it removed reed because it would look too obvious. Here you can see he's using the same layout design. After he discusses pens and inks, just like I did, then I have unconventional instruments. instruments. What does he have? unconventional tools I discuss using things that are not traditional uh, drawing instruments here I have uh, a sponge fingertips so I have sponge he has sponge I have uh, fingertips you can use your fingers Wow after that I have additional supplies what does he have after that he has Wow additional supplies a dust brush eraser pencil and a ruler dust brush eraser eraser pencil and rulers okay and I go to strokes basic strokes right I start my chapter with effective pen control style and technique he calls it oh what's at the beginning control consistency in lines now, I discussed consistency, not in this chapter, but in shading. Keep your strokes consistent. There are four major cons aspects of consistency when shading with lines. Now, guys, again, it took me a long time to develop this idea. This is What you're seeing here on one page is a distillation of several pages and months of deliberation with myself on deciding and trying to clarify the idea. What is, when we say be consistent, what do you mean? You see, he couldn't do it like this because that would be too obvious. So he did it like this. And this is supposed to be a body of work that you're presenting, you're selling to the public. You're selling this to the public. And also, you know, there's no way you can say he's not familiar with my work. You can actually see here, uh, this is on the Instagram, uh, the Inktober profile. He posted an excerpt from my book. 
As you look through these photos from Alfonso's great book, Painting Drawings, you will see that everything can be broken down to smaller shapes and structures. You know, so you can see it here. He posted uh, several pages, two, three, three pages. There you go. So there's no way you could say he's not familiar with my book. This is uh, a bin I have that has all the um, materials from my first book. And all those are handwritten notes. All handwritten notes. So this is how the book actually evolved over all those years. So you can see the amount of work that goes into this, you know. And this is actually how the book evolved. And uh, I was able to connect dots and determine how I'm going to sequence the information and all this stuff. So all these images, all these notes, um, was basically a record of how the book um, gradually developed. So yeah, this is some of all the work that goes into um, developing this book. Oh, this is something pretty interesting too. Every single page is laid out here. If you go closer, you'll see all the notes that I've written. What goes on? Is it a chapter? <laughs> it's not that. Every single, I've re uh, read and revised every single page five to 10 times, at least, no, no uh, less than five times, and revised so all of these notes I'm making, I would make those changes, print it again, uh, read it again, you know, revise it again. That's what go, and that's just one chapter. And I'll do this for every single page. But nonetheless, as I said, guys, I know I've titled it Pen and Ink Drawing, A Simple Guide. But the process of developing this was nothing simple. Now, with all that said, what do I have to say to you, Jake Parker? You have made a really unique contribution to the art community. You know, Inktober, the whole Inktober experience is just really phenomenal. I think it's really great. Now, the thing is, you know, we all make unique contributions to this art community, no matter how big or small you are, right? Um, in the same way, you know, you create... Uh, you created Inktober. I've created my books, Painting, Drawing, a Simple Guide, and the Complimentary Workbook. And those are, you know, these are part of my unique contribution to the art community. And in the same way, I respect your work, you know, you should respect mine. I don't go out trying to recreate Inktober, you know what I mean, and claim it as mine. So I expect that you should respect my work and the validity of my work as well. And let it be what it is. You see, people like you, and myself included, you know, people look to us for not only instruction, you know, they look to us for guidance in some way. They look to us for inspiration, you know. And, and, and even more than that, they look to us as models of integrity, you know, artistic integrity. And it's very important that we, we be very careful, especially, you know, you have... 500 and, and, and almost 600,000 followers on your Instagram profile, you know, you have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you have on your uh, Inktober uh, profile, you have almost 900,000 people. Now, what you have done here is reckless, irresponsible, and insulting not only to me, but to your followers as well. Now, I don't believe in tearing people down or, you know, impugning their integrity. That's not the intent of this video, right? But it's very clear what you did. I mean, if my 10-year-old daughter can actually see the correlation and what you did, then I think it's pretty obvious. And to Chronicle Books and just other publishers out there, you know, like, stuff like this cannot or should not happen, you know? There has to be some level of uh, research, uh, cross-referencing, uh, some vetting 
has to be done to ensure that you don't wholeheartedly support, endorse, and publish someone's work, you know, and sell it to the public with things like this happening. You know, you really compromise your credibility doing stuff like this. Now, I work too hard on these books to just see someone just come and steal or take my content and try to claim it as their own, you know, regardless of who you are, all right? Now, I encourage you guys, like, protect your content. Listen, this type of stuff happens much more often than you think, all right? So you have to really take charge to protect the rights of your content or else this will happen to you, all right? Like, really be aware of stuff like this. Don't be naive. But on the flip side, you know, do your best to also appreciate the work of other artists and, and support them, you know, because it's really not easy for us. Art, I mean, I still work full time. You know, we, we have to really do better as an art community. It's a small community as is. So the, the least we can do is just try to respect each other's work. And that's it, you know, so... Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and take care.